Greetings from Tokyo Station. I am now on my way to Saku City in Nagano to drink some sake. Let's go. Saku is a little over an hour on the Hokuriku Shinkansen from Tokyo. But before the sake, I turn to the spiritual world. For the Zazen experience, Zazen is a, I guess you would say a Buddhist ritual where you meditate. Oh, Zafu. Zafu. Grab a Zahu pillow and head to the meditation room. Our instructor gave us a rundown on how the monks do it. The position of your hands and mental state are important. And so is getting whacked. This was just a trial. Zazen usually lasts for 40 minute cycles. Flexibility is important to achieve a higher state of both mind and body. But as I am not a monk, I need not pretend to be one. I let go of everything that was on my mind, and believe it or not, I felt something new. Saku has many temples and shrines. It also has a lot of sake. Before starting, a Shinto priest introduced us to a ritual done before brewing. Sake is called Nihonshu or Japan's drink, and it's important culturally, such as in religious ceremonies like weddings and other blessings. Of course, we had a drink before starting too. We pretty much went straight into it. Time to steam the rice and then take it to the Koji Mold Room for inoculation. So we're back again. Today we're gonna to be finishing the process of making sake. I was here yesterday. We started it by washing the rice. And you get to not just stay at a sake brewery, but get the opportunity to make it, and then of course drink it. So I, I wanted to come here and try it. This is in Saku City in Nagano. Check it out. And as, as we go along with the process, I'll try to explain as much as I can about it. So it seems like right now we're putting, we're putting rice into this barrel. And we're all getting a chance to try this out. And there seems to be a lot of media here <laughs> to, to take pictures of us to do this. The rest of this video is much of the experience, uncut. Check out the table of contents and feel free to skip around and find the part that you like best. Something that interests you about the brewing process. So everybody gets to take their turn. Maybe I should have a go too, huh?
I helped. <laughs> Taking it away. So he's pushing it over into a machine, I think, that's going to do something. But what? I'm not sure what's happening. So from now they're going to steam the Amazaki rice. Let's go over here and steam it. See some of the steam coming out here. Let there be steam. He's hooked it up to the bottom of this uh, rice tank and perhaps we're going to get a look at some steam coming through here. Oh, he's putting a cover on top of it. This keeps the steam in. Oh, even this canvas cover seems to have a lid on top of it. I'm not sure how long did they steam this for, but it looks like they're really buckling it up. My guess is there's going to be a lot of steam coming real soon. You're going to see it all right here, because right now, if you look over to the to the right, this machine compressor or whatever it is, it's starting to create a lot of noise and steam. Oh, he's releasing the valve. We're going to see something happen. Awesome. Steamed rice. This is the biggest rice cooker I've ever seen in my entire life. And uh, this is part of the Amazake process, not sake. Right now they're they're steaming it. He said it's gonna take an hour. Let there be steamed rice. And then we'll go on after an hour to the next process. Does that mean we gotta stand here for an hour? I'm kind of confused. We're on the first floor of the brewery right now. We're gonna be moving to the second floor sometime during this process. So actually today, today is really warm for February. Usually it gets down to like minus something. And now it's it's probably gonna get up to 13, 12 or 13 degrees Celsius, which is pretty warm. But uh, uh, typically you wanna make sake in cold weather, amazake in cold weather. I'm getting that feeling just because that's the way it's always been. But this year's a little bit unusual. 
He's kind of explaining that, as well as some of the process of it. There's another videographer there. This is all part of a, an experience to come here to live and make sake and the people that are here for the first test. Whoa! It's really steaming now. It smells pretty good. Yeah, the process to make amazaki or sake. Um, amazaki is a lot faster because it doesn't have the, it doesn't take the time to uh, for fermentation to make the alcohol. Therefore, oh, it's starting to puff out. Now there's more air coming out of it. So amazaki is a lot quicker. He's adjusting the hole. We're going through this uh, secret ninja door. Oh, you can see the steam. Steam. Whoa. It's a 150 year old building. The steam. That's pretty cool. So they've been doing it for 150 years. Steam has been coming out of that building like this. You probably can see it uh, several blocks away. The neighbors going, hey, they're making sake. <laughs> they're making something. The biggest pot of coffee in the history of coffee, maybe. <laughs> Certainly, it's a pretty cool sight to see it steaming like that. Um, this morning we had uh, uh, a, a Shinto priest come here and bless the sake and the sake making and he gave us a, a warm um i don't know blessing uh, wishing us a fruitful stay in here in nagano and some delicious sake that was pretty good um we're, we're gonna enter again but i want to show you the process when you enter you have to decontaminate and make sure you get rid of any any bad things that have been outside Watch your head. It's a small door right there. Now you can see it's really steaming over there. And they said it'll take an hour. Are right, he's taking us to the next next place? So you can see the steam rising out of this uh, canvas covered pot going up into the sky there. And then out what you just saw outside, the the wooden grates of a hundred and fifty year old building. Alright, let's go over here. We're going a deeper into the brewery right now. And he's going to explain. We, we actually um, came here yesterday. And if you saw that video of the tour, you got a chance to see inside as well. But we did not go inside this, this room. We see a glow from inside the building. Oh, this is the... Oh, that's fine. <laughs> After we wash our hands, we're going inside of here, and this is where the koji mold is, is, is distributed on top of the rice. I gotta wash my hands as well. <laughs> Stay here. <laughs> Alright. 
はいどうぞ。We've been decontaminated. Oh, this is kind of exciting. So, this is. The, do you see this, this structure? It's, it's made out of what, what looks like metal. It's a box. And、um, we're going to be going inside. This is where they have the,、uh, distributed the koju mold onto the rice, which is an important step in the fermentation, the, in the, the process. And、uh, the, the reason why it's in a locked box is so, so, the other, so outside air can't go in here to keep in the heat. You see, they're going in there very quickly. Yeah. Okay, so he's closing the door. The next wave of people. Come on, Ikimacho. Let's go inside. Ah, so this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. So he's warning us that there's a good chance that the lens. I'm ready. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's go inside. Temperature has changed, and there's a good chance that the lens is going to get a little steamed up in here. But this is the Koji room. It does smell a little bit moldy.、Um, it's, it's a, it's a, there's no wind in here. That's another reason why this room is so closed off traditionally. It's always like this. And what they do is they put the rice on, they put the rice on this board here, and, and、uh, the Koji mold people will. Uh, inoculate it, I guess is the word. Three people, three people. Do it. We got three volunteers that will never be coming back. This is the last time you're going to see them. So, mothers and fathers of these people. This is it. So, let's go a little bit closer over here. Do you see how clumpy the rice has gotten and it's been inoculated like this?、Um, you could, if you were to eat it, I believe it would be a little sweet. Dig into the koji rice. Dun, 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 dun. Turn it around and get it. And no, 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 no. Don't have words for this song. Alright. It's interesting. This is an important step of, this, of the sake. Yeah, there's no reason to, to rush. Yeah, it's sweet rice. It's actually good. Ah, no, I'll be able to eat it. Ah, really? Yeah, it's good. So, it's good. So, it's good. So, it's good. So, it's good. Why don't you sell it like this? This is, looks, if it's so sweet and good. I'm going to sell it like this. 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 So, yeah, so we're getting a chance to try it, but it, it's actually sweetened as a result of the. of the I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm not really a beginner, I don't have to try all of it, but I will. I think I will. I can put the camera right there. But it's interesting, I'm gonna give you a different, different side to, to check this out. But this rice, this sweetened rice, will become、uh, amazake. 
and just kind of shoveling it up and mixing it, uh, mixing it around. And then after after it's done, he says it's going to be um, outside for another day before it is processed. So this is uh, in the middle of the process. Get a little bit closer to the rice, you can see. It's, it's all kind of, because from the koji mold and being inoculated, it's all kind of come together. It's thicker and sort of grown together. It's interesting, isn't it? Clumpy in some spots, but they're breaking up the clumps. Clump breaker, heartbreaker. Look at that. Looks like kitty litter. Why? I don't know. All right, people can leave now. It's nice and warm in here. It feels good in here, though. I don't want to leave. This is my natural habitat. <laughs> Warm weather. So we're getting closer to 9 a.m. This process started pretty, pretty early. Typically, um, we left the hotel at around 7.30. And now they're transferring 15 kilograms. They've done that. Now this team over here is going to move it outside. So it's 15 kilograms by 15 kilograms. Next up, so you got a lot of blankets. That means we got to do a lot of moving. Uh, we got to get this out of this room. I'm not doing anything. Just filming. And maybe I'll go and help out. Let's lend a hand. Let's lend a hand and help the people get the job done. Scale. It's old school scale. It's not digital. It will tell you how much it's gone. All right, I better lend a hand. I <laughs> lend a hand and get the job done. Alright, I took it outside um, and we're putting it onto trays. Let's follow the next batch out now. They got to put another 15 kilograms on here. We're going to follow them out and I'll show you 
um, where they're putting it. It's interesting. But um, I'm gonna stay in here for a bit because it's just warmer. See the temperature gauge is saying a very warm 40 degrees underneath here. This must be something underneath there. Here we go, we're gonna follow them out. Kimas. And then they put it onto this tray here. And then they smooth it out so it settles and it'll be another day but out here before they, they actually use it. It's cooling down. The temperature is noticeably different. It's like 20 degrees different out here than inside of the box. All right, I'm going to close the door now. Stay inside. Ah, here they come again. The work must get done. Looks like we're pretty much finished in this room. Let's follow them out and take a look at the process of what they're doing on the other side of this door. You've been in here for a long time. Welcome to the outside world. So while we were in there, you can see a lot of, a lot of the, the uh, sacks have already been converted and spread out along here. It's a team effort to get to get this all out there. Hi. Oh, where'd my boots go? あ、これは。あ、これが<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> All right, very carefully they're putting it, putting it back. It has to be perfectly 
aligned so it doesn't topple over. If it were to topple over, that would be uh, make a pretty interesting video, but what a waste that would be. If it does topple over, I want to do it in, in, in slow motion so we can do a dramatic cut. I don't think it's going to happen. Again, we're, most of us here are, are uh, first timers and anything can happen in this kind of a situation. I kind of don't want that to happen though, because we want to have a successful, a successful uh, process to this. Oh, it's, she's saying, no, no, it's too high. It's too high, it's too high. Let's keep it here at this is a perfect level. Yeah, excellent. All right, so now this is the Yamazake here and it's gonna be out here for another day. We can take pictures of it, get it from different angles. So it's been spread here. So, since we've been doing this for a while, the steamed rice is just about done. That means we're ready to, to move that. Okay, please line up and I might have to get involved as well. That means John's got to work. I'm not against it. <laughs> I kind of think it's fun. Oh, okay, let's see. Maybe uh, I can grab one with the gimbal, huh? Yeah, everybody gather, grab one. Ah, all right. So the steam rice is going to be going here. Uh, I, I believe that's what's going to happen. So let's go. Let's go over to the steamed rice area. We're just moments away from that coming out. The steam rice is in this room. Things are moving pretty quickly now. Yeah, it's still steaming. Oh wow, it's really steaming. That is really coming out. You remember it was just about 40 minutes ago when we uh, started this steaming. Just a little trickle. Now it's a, it's a complete different situation. That's hardcore steam. <laughs> Wow. I don't know if I'm supposed to be in here. There's nobody around. Better get back. All right, let's get, let's get back. something again it's a lot of explaining all right so now they're gonna move this uh, um, oh spread out the uh, filters or the blankets onto the wooden wooden planks here because I guess the steam rice is gonna go on top of that I'm not sure yet we're gonna find this out really really quickly I 
helped. Anyone gotta go? Toilet break for anybody? No, we're all good. Let's keep moving. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's steam escaping from right up, right behind me. It's making me smell fruity. This is kind of a, a, a fruity sake smell escaping from this tank here. All right, we're gonna move over in this direction. Follow the leader. Are we taking a picture? Okay. We're gonna take a picture. You stay here, everybody. Stay here. The steamed rice is going to be making its way out. And she's doing a motion here. Like this. You're going to have to dump it fast. Don't dump it fast. Carefree? Mm -hmm. So it means careless, right? Carefree. No, no free. Not carefree. Carefully. Oh, carefully. Okay. <laughs> it's important. All right. So we're moments away from the steam rice coming out, and we'll have to put it onto these um, blankets resting on wooden pallet like trays now this process is not always exciting sometimes there's moments where you're waiting for steam and rice but they move us around <laughs> there's always something to do you stay busy when you're brewing you just have to know the tasks i think uh if this is our first day on the job we're learning the tasks we're learning the steps and after that, you know exactly where to go after you've done this for uh, maybe five, six times. You learn the steps, just like any job. These are the tanks um, where they uh, sit. I'm just making this up. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it's like uh, relaxing. <laughs> Maybe. So inside of here are... You see there's some condensation on the top of this. So Something inside there. Not quite sure. That looks sealed off as well. It's li li liqueur, liquor. Wow! This is the leftover. What is this here? Kasu. 
What's it used for? Uh, for cooking. Pickling, okay. Vegetables. Interesting. Yeah. It smells lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> smell you know sake breweries after you've been in one you notice they all kind of smell alike it has kind of a like a fruity gas smell to it and you, you say to yourself when you smell it that's a sake brewery it's a very distinctive smell beer breweries have a more of a like a malt uh, barley malt type of uh, smell depending on what kind of beer that they're brewing sake has a fruitier smell to it but a lot of these buildings that um, for sake, oh, let me, yeah, a lot of these buildings for sake, they have, uh, uh, they're made of wood and, and quite old. So the personality of the building, the wood also adds into the smells of it. You can see the doors are also made of wood here. That all kind of factors in. The, we're coming back out here because the steamed rice is now um, finished and getting ready to move into move into the other room and when, when that happens um, the team must move quickly so you told me yesterday this room back here you used to be a dead room and for for 20 years it had no purpose and now they're they're changing this into uh, a hostel a place that, where people can stay this Still a hole in the middle of the floor on the other side of the building, so I wonder what's going on here. There's no glass. You can see I just put you through the window. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's interesting that they're using this building for. Oh, there's a kitchen over there. Interesting. So I guess you can cook and and do stuff in here. But uh, as an experience where you can live at the sake brewery and then come in the morning to make it here, it's a pretty cool concept. And I'm on board. Dun, 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 dun. Take a picture with the steam because it's just so cool. Dun, 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 dun. Let other people have some fun. So put the rice in the basket and then go this way. The entire procession of people are going this way. So we're going to go this way. Onto the uh, palette here. 
、えー、下げていきますので、えー、35度ぐらいまで下がったお米は、麹室の中にどんどん入れていかなくてもいい。35 degrees Celsius。The rice has to be. So it really needs to cool down. It's steaming right now, so it's very hot. It needs to cool down to 35 degrees Celsius. <laughs> All right. Right. So one, bar one bas barrel can、uh, fill one of these pallets. So we only need like nine barrels? Really? Seems like. Seems like we could put more in there, no? I don't know. But I think you want to spread it out and. and、uh, um, we want to spread it out so it gets cool. That's the purpose. By spreading out the rice, it'll lose the, the heat. That's what he's saying right now. Can't really hear. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for joining me on this adventure.、Uh, Click the thumbs up if you like this long, uncut format of <laughs> making sake, amazake.、Uh, but definitely leave a comment in the comments below. I really appreciate it.、Uh, and if you want to talk about this, we have a Discord server,、uh, discord.gg slash only in Japan. Join us there and discuss anything you want, it's free. I'm moving to the back. Gotta stay out of the way. That's the look of a man who wants to turn off the steam soon. Alright, he's just been given the go ahead. Turn off the steam. The steam has not been turned off. He's. Oh, there's a valve. Let off a little steam. It's a new meaning to this word, phrase. Let off some steam. They really did let off some steam. <laughs> And put the pipe away. And then. Take off the canvas cover. Removing the canvas. Oh, that's a lot of steam right there. Nice. That's the best place to be, nice and warm. Good for the skin. Just penetrates and pours and opens them up. And it's good to be in a steam area. Nice, wheeling it over. That's the finished product. Whoa!、It、smells really nice. Steamed rice. It's hard to see in here, but. He's setting up a little stand here, I guess, to put the bucket. And someone's gonna stand on the platform to shovel it in there. You see that? That's how it's gonna work. So the bucket goes right there. That's what I thought. Saishoa. That's, this is the biggest rice cooker in, yeah, in Nagano right now. It can feed a hundred, a thousand people, it can feed maybe. Thank、you
通当時が運ぶ時は15キロぐらいはいじゃあこれ誰でしょうファーストいいんじゃないですか She's first Let's follow her Go, go, go! There's only one, one shovel here, so Junko san is going to help here and shovel it. And this reduces the temperature of the freshly steamed rice. We want to get down, he said, to 35 degrees Celsius, which is the ideal. Oh, here comes another one. One of accidents have ever happened here. That's 15 kilograms of rice. And then Junko here's gonna do it. So I better go and uh, I better do my part, huh? Quick look, see. Oh wow! So we've really got down to the to the to the bottom. We, we... So, pick it up by your shoulder. <laughs> she took the whole platform with her. And placement of your your hands is very important. Shoveling rice with a shovel. That's how you feed like a feed like a. Ah, uh, they get it, kid. Hi. All right, I'll do it. Right. Oh, okay, here. I cook any more. You can. Take it back. Play your part. There's still some left in there, huh? Gum. Very mochi mochi kind of a. <laughs> We're down to, to just a little bit remaining now.
this one has was the first to go in and it's starting to cool off see there's not so much steam coming out of it but you want it to be uh, according to what they said about 20 minutes ago around 35 degrees and of course when it's steaming hot it's like 90 it's very very hot the rice quickly gets down to um, quickly get down to the temperature I think because it's air temperature is about tw um, I don't know seven eight degrees in here it's a little bit chilly <laughs> They're now moving the the Amazaki rice to to another area. Let's go take a look where they're going. Uh, they're going into the Koji Mold Room. Hey! They're moving into the Koji Mold Room. Um, and I believe we're gonna be inoculating it. How cool is that? Oh, that's awesome. So this is the rice that was spread out. The temperature has has cooled down to about 35 degrees. And now the rice sits on this table. Uh, the door just closed. I'm the only one in here. Kind of spooky. Do they know I'm in here? Is it okay that I'm in here? This is a problem. Is anybody? Okay, good. And I believe you're going, we're going to now spread this rice out before we get the koji mold out. Stay here. going in waves. Hey, close the door. Don't touch your boots. Don't touch, your boots. <laughs> don't touch anything. <laughs> Let's do it. Don't touch anything. Don't touch Three, two, one. Let's go! Go, people, go! Go! <sighs> Don't touch anything. Alright. You can see the rice that was laid out earlier. We, we've been sprayed with alcohol. Actually, the gimbal has been sprayed with alcohol several times. Everything is disinfected. Bring the koji on, do not speak, and don't walk, don't move, so it settles naturally onto the rice.
mixing the corner here. Just mix it in with this area. Let's get the koji molds mixed in with the rest of the rice here. Yeah, that's right. Just really get it in. I could do a lot with one hand. Two hands would be better, but. <laughs> to do that. Switch it over here and here. Mix it like this. I'm just going to do it again. It's been over 10 minutes and they've called us back to Yoku Mazete again, to mix it again. And uh, the team is now doing that and I shall now join the team. Here comes Stick Lady.
べ際にあのちょっとあの移動していただいて、もう,もう一度、あのまあ、これで。We're gonna do the Koji mold one more time for fun. Serious. Yes, sorry, he's gonna go again. Why is Stick Lady doing this again? Really? The final mixing, and uh, looks like the team has this handled. I don't need to get my hands into it. Plus, I scratched my nose, and that should not be have done. So I'll just keep my hands to myself. It's about 32 degrees, so it's really cooled down from before, which is a good sign. But it's warm enough where it's going to where the uh, koji mold can. Take root, so to speak. Yeah. It's just going to mix it a little bit more, but because we have a limited amount of time, um, he'll do it himself. We'll leave and do other things like eat. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm really, really starving. Oh, here's the temperature. Now you can see the temperature. Before it was 40, so the temperature's gone down a little bit. <laughs> it's gone down a little bit from before. <laughs> Let's leave the room. Hey, Yuki? <laughs> Uh, what? So, I just heard that there's snow outside. Ah, uh, It's pretty hot in there. All right, it's, it's gotten really cold outside, apparently. Looks like we're finished for now. Let's go. 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 Let's go
疲れ様でございます。ではですね、ここで一旦蔵のお仕事が終わりになります。えー、平さんにですね、お礼を言いたいと思います。自分よりも当時に伝えてあげたいけどね。<笑>はい。はい。じゃこちらどうぞ。あの来てくれる中で一番綺麗な場所になる。<笑>Go through the mini door. <laughs> Watch your head. Wow, s o m e can't. It's kind of snowing. Uh, grab your shoes. Snowing a little bit out here. Uh, markers above it on a rope, you see. It has a little、uh, roof to it inside there. That's a roof to the well. <laughs> It's very cool. Give, give the well a lot of respect for giving us really delicious water. And、uh, you can put the water into there if you wanted to. Um, something that's been around here probably for the 150 years since it was, it was used. This, you can see the snow is coming down. Look at the snow. Look at the snow. It is, it's snowing. It's pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna go inside of this house. This is a new building.、Um, it's not quite finished. We have to take our shoes off again. See the snow falling between the houses here.、Uh, the weather is cooler out here. So when you leave, leave Tokyo, you gotta take your shoes off. All the time. So the result is it's a good idea to probably wear loafers. Nice. Ah, so they're gonna make breakfast here. It's a kitchen, it's got、uh, three sinks and some burners over there.、Um, yeah, and here's a tatami room. That's a nice touch here. And you can see there's a walkway. I like what they've done with this. And a, a nice garden you can see on the other side.、Um, the car, we walked into that building. We started from that building yesterday. Go up to the second floor now.、Oh, go ahead. Do, 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 do. Um, two sinks, bathroom, restroom. Let's go up the second floor here. Oh, you can smell the tatami. Like、it. <laughs> 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 oh, you can 
They kind of small. Oh wow, so each of these will be little little rooms to sleep in. Shall we go into this one? We gotta take off our slippers. We can go into the into the little room. What do you think? Um, the doors are pretty small. I think you can get a lot of privacy in here. It's got a pretty neat view. I guess this is like a capsule room. It's small, cozy, nice view outside of the roof of the brewery. That's enough space to have uh, two tatami mats and just sleep in here so you have some privacy. It's two and a half tatami mats, um, which is enough for a futon. Could you sleep here? master bedroom. And there's a remote control for the heater up here. It's all pretty nice. It's kind of wabi-sabi, she said. Kind of unfinished, but looks good the way it is. Black wall here. It makes it look kind of modern, I guess. Uh, it's a definite style to it. An unfinished style. So the design of this it's unique and I guess if you do come here in April it'll all be finished up and this is where you'll be staying if you take this brewery experience so actually I'm kind of like a pioneer alright let's check in here oh wow no one's ever used this toilet before I could be the first one to use this before you but I'm not going to do that. I'll let you be the first one in there. Look at that brand new. Wow. Yeah. It's a story. Oh, so there was a wall here and they knocked it out. Interesting. And they made it into just a bigger room and I guess they had to add support somewhere to do that. This is where the ofuro is. All right, let's go some uh, shopping and tasting. So this is the jacuzzi. Is here? No, jacuzzi. I I missed what this was here, but this could be jacuzzi. Oh, okay, that's different. That's not a jacuzzi. Okay, yeah. You sit there with the table. All right, this is gonna be a table here. It's not a jacuzzi. It's not a bath. It's gonna be a table in the middle and then people can sit here. That's nice. All right, I know what you're thinking. Just wanted to, you thought it was a jacuzzi too, right? And the, you see the electrical sockets, you see the outlets to plug things in there. So, table goes there. Bada bing, bada boom, we're out of here. Move over to the next place. It's interesting. Um, it's been an interesting experience to get a chance to see the process of sake making. And I think doing something like this, living here, starting in the morning and working a day, you get a chance to feel what it's like to make sake, what goes through the brewer's mind when they make this. So when you drink it, you're gonna have a greater appreciation for 
what's in that bottle and what's in that glass and then what goes in your mouth and then what tastes so amazing. What makes you feel kind of funky? <laughs> that all comes with bottles and bottles of Nihon Shu or Japanese sake, the national drink. And this brewery produces a lot of bottles of it. At the end, I got an award for participating and a complimentary bottle of the good stuff. Hey! All right. <laughs> It's a pretty fun experience. Once again, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought of this. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe so you get all of the notifications. We'll be back live again really soon. Uh, and uh, I'm heading back to Tokyo. Probably with a few bottles of sake. Subscribe and watch Adventures from Japan live 15 times a month. Matane.